What's new for you tonight at 10, one version of a toxic algae is said to be on the rise here in eastern Iowa. And it could not only kill dogs, but even humans, if not careful. We're talking about the blue-green algae found mostly in lakes and ponds in Iowa during a times of very warm temperatures. Now, this is in North Liberty at the Beaver Creek area where this algae has been detected. KWWL reporter Jalen Socek has been talking to some of the experts in the area and some residents about the algae. She joins us live right now, and she's in North Liberty. Jalen. Well, Ron, blue-green algae is recognizable by its color and its foul smell. I'm told it's not always toxic, but when you see it, you should assume that it is and stay far away from it. If the way this water looks isn't enough to stop you from stepping into the Beaver Creek, maybe this sign put up next to it will. Warning people that blue-green algae has been detected in the creek, which sits right next to this park. We also call it toxic algae because it had this, uh, this extra risk associated with exposure to it. When blue-green algae produces microcystins, a toxin, it can cause rashes and flu-like symptoms, and when ingested, it can be fatal. If you have any any fear that that's happened, you need to get your child or your, your pet to the vet or doctor right away because this can happen very quickly. Um, within hours, um, you can, you, the liver can be affected and it can become fatal. Even behind me here in the water, you can see a large concentrate of that blue-green algae along the rocks even. There's a blue line stained on them, and the smell really, it's kind of like that raw and egg smell that you get with methane gas. But this is an improvement from what I'm told it looked like days ago. Leah Knight was walking her dog, Chester, pictured there when she noticed the water. It can be muddy and gross, but it's never been green. Luckily, she said she didn't let Chester drink the water like he has in the past, but she says living nearby that many aren't paying attention to the warning. I've seen kids with their swimsuits on like in the water, and they can do that when it's not green. And this was even when the sign was up. Susan tells me testing is done at all 39 of the public state park beaches each week, and the number of blue-green algae only continues to rise. For example, here in 2010, for nine weeks, they had advisories warning that it was present in the lakes, but last year they had warnings up for 37 weeks. Live in North Liberty, Jalen Socek, News 7, KWWL. Jalen, thank you very much, and there's certainly nothing to look at, that's for sure. A couple of lakes so far in Iowa have had this detection of blue-green algae. Lake Darling, which is a very popular lake in Washington County, used to go there as a kid, and also Green Valley Lake, which is in southern Iowa. They expect to see even more during the peak times in August and September.